Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the percent of change from 26 to 74. So the first thing we need to look at is, you know, what are we starting with, right? So we're starting with 26, and then we go all the way over to 74. So, you know, we're buying, collecting, whatever else. And so what we want to do is we want to see what is the change in value from there. So to find the change, you know, we can obviously just go ahead and subtract. So by subtracting, um, I'm going to have 74 minus 26 is going to equal 48. Therefore, from 26 to 74, I added 48 units of whatever we're going to be talking about. But they're not asking us for what is the change. They want to know what is the percent of change. So what I'm going to do is look at, you know, when we're creating percentages, all percentages that we always talk about with percentages is kind of dealing with fractions, but they're fractions of a certain sort. When dealing with percentages, we're looking at a part out of a whole when the whole is 100. Now, when dealing with just fractions, we look at parts and wholes, right? And here, what we're going to notice is the amount I changed is larger than my whole. So I have changed more than what the whole number that I started with, right? I started with 26. The amount I changed was 48, which is larger than the whole. A lot of times we call this what we call an improper fraction. So that's still okay. You can still compute everything with there. You just need to understand your percent is now going to be larger than 100% because your whole cannot be larger than 100 when dealing with percents. However, if we want to find the percent of change, what we're going to do is we want to find, all right, if the whole is 26 and now I have a change of 48, well, in percentage form, when we have a whole of 100, what is going to be my percent of change? So to solve this, what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. So I have 26 times x equals 4,800. Divide by 26 on both sides. Then let's use our nice lovely calculator. So I have 4,800 divided by 26, and I'm going to get 184.6%. Now, one thing I could have changed here is that's out of 100%, so therefore that would have been 100%, or that would have been 4,800%, and then I get 184.6%. Um, now, remember that we've increased in the positive direction, so therefore this is a 184.6 increase in percent of change. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.